Hello students, this is Professor Vivek Tiwari from Government E. Raghavan Rao PG Science College, Bilaspur. In my last lecture, we just have been discussed about the fundamental concept of data types available in VB.NET and then we will discuss about the variables, how to declare a variable, how to initialize a variable and general program structure of VB.NET. So, let's start the discussion about the operators available in VB. .NET. This topics include in the second unit of programming in VB.NET of PGDCA second semester. So let's start the discussion in operator. So what is operator? Basically the operator is a symbol that you are going to use in our program. There are many different types of operator available in VB.NET. So let's explore them one by one. The first type of operator that we'll use in our program is arithmetic operator. Basically, there are four different types of arithmetic operator. Plus is for addition, minus is for uh, subtraction, slash is for division, and asterisk is uh, symbol is used for multiplication. Basically, this is a binary category of operator. In binary category of operator, you have to use two different operands. You have to use two different operands. That means operand one, then operator, then operand two. So you can you have to use these two different categories of operand if anyone is missing if anyone is missing in this operator then your program will generate an error so plus is used for uh, the general addition minus is used for general subtraction slash is for division and asterisk is for multiplication so this is the arithmetic operator available in vb dot and now next type of next category of operator is a relational operator less than there are five different uh, symbol in this uh, relational operator less than symbol greater than symbol less than or equal to symbol greater than or equal to symbol and not equal to symbol this uh, symbols having the same meaning as in mathematics you have studied already these symbols in general mathematics the syntax is for that expression or operand then you have to write the operator then another expression generally it will uh, return either true or false it is used in conditional statement always this uh, operator is used in conditional statement that means if if else in this type of statement you can use the relational operators uh, third category of operator in vb.net is a logical operator in logical operator the first operation is a end operation let's explore the end operation uh, let's suppose we are having two different types of input for simplicity I have taken only two different input X and Y will return true only if the both X and Y having the same true value if any one of them is false then it will return a false value while in case of or it will return true if any one of X and Y value is true if both are false then only X or Y returns false and not of x means whatever the x value it will toggle the value of x that means if x is having value 0 then it will uh, reprint 1 if it, x is having 1 then it will show 0 as an output so this is the logical operator now the fourth category of operator and very important operator in vb.net that is a concatenation operator so this operator is used to combine two different string into the single one let's suppose for example let's suppose there is a variable name as of type string now i have initialized the variable string as a alpha i will initialize this string variable as alpha now i am going to print this value of the string on the screen with this character now my name is one is uh, my name is the first string and the name is a second string and i am concatenating these two string using this and operation so uh, and op uh, and operator is used to concatenate the two different string into the single one so that is a very interesting and important concept in vb.net that is a concatenation operator now the next category of operator is a assignment category of operator so in assignment category of operator is a binary operator that means it will take two operands and if any one operand is missing then your program will generate an error that means it looks like, like like that x is equal to y now what would happen uh, when you have to write this statement the value of y will be uh, transferred to variable x in this uh, in these two operands the right operand can be any expression can be a variable or can be a constant while in left operand must be a variable type only so what would happen the operand in right side the value of the operand in right side will be transferred to operand in left 
side. So that is the syntax. If anyone is missing, then you will get an error in vb.net. So this is assignment operator. Now next category of operator is a comparison operator. Comparison is operator is basically used in conditional statement to to check out whether the given two number is exactly same or not. Now this uh, statement will uh, show you whether x is exactly equal to y or not. If it is exactly equal to y then it will show true otherwise it will return false. So comparison operator is used for comparison. So these are the operators that are available in vb.net. So thank you so much for watching this video.